Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. What is up with your vibe, Sagittarius? Oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What do you got for Sagittarius? Will of Fortune vibes. Look at that. Hmm, focusing on you, Sagittarius. Scorpio vibes at the bottom. Who's sending you peace, love, and light, Sagittarius? Who's sending you peace, love, and light? Blessings energy with you. Unconventional blessings. So, stay optimistic. Look, there you are, Sagittarius. Over top of that is the Seven of Wands. Oh, look at that. Peace, love, and light energy. Uh, definitely very grounded and focused energy with you, uh, Sagittarius. So, mm. Damn, over that is the King of Wands. There's the Six of Wands. There's the Nine of Swords. There's the Queen of Swords. Oh, wow. Those of you, <laughs> those of you that are single, those of you that are far more focused on you, I feel like this is the masculine energy when it comes to you, Sagittarius, more so than a relationship or partnership. With the King of Wands there, there's the Six of Wands energy. Definitely reinforces that Seven of Wands vibe. Mm. Between those two is the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, look at that. Queen of Swords, you got the Two of Pentacles. There's the Knight of Pentacles. There's the Knight of Wands. Oh, and there's the Five of Swords. Oh, my. Sagittarius. Yeah, I don't feel this is romance-based with you. I don't think you think it's romance-based with you. Uh, for some of you, if that, that King of Wands energy could be the overly passionate connections. So there's stagnation here, but damn, it's to your benefit. Because there's the Five of Swords. Lord have mercy. Over the Five of Swords is the Two of Cups. Damn, Sagittarius. I feel like there's dreams and goals and accomplishments that you need to uh, sort of focus on first before that right relationship or partnership comes in with you. You've been in this vibe for a while with the Two of Pentacles there, the Knight of Pentacles there with the Knight of Wands. This is good. What's your inspiration right now? I was going to say if you're dating, date, but I don't even feel like some of you are even interested in dating right now. What's over the Nine of Swords? The Ten of Swords? The Page of Wands? The Eight of Cups? Yeah, with the Two of Swords. So some of you aren't even interested in dating. That's like not even what your main focus is. Some of you could be taking a little vow of celibacy or just taking a break. I don't feel like the overly passionate connections are really going to work with you. So that's why I feel like that King of Wands is the dominant energy within you uh some of you finding that yin yang you're in such good vibes here do you watch your favorite astrologer this is far more focused on the decisions that you're making so you could be coming across as in line of swords because you're making healthy choices here you're establishing some very healthy boundaries, focusing... A lot of you, I feel like you're doing the work on yourself. It's a very bountiful energy for you. So this is a... Once you start something, then you start seeing the sort of benefits of it. <clears throat> so you start dieting, right? Or exercising. Or maybe you tried a new moisturizing cream, right? Uh, now's when you start saying, okay, uh, this is really starting to work. You're definitely not overwhelmed. Uh or hopefully you're not being overwhelmed. Do watch your favorite astrologer. You haven't. You're the only one that showed up. What is this Knight of uh, Pentacles and Two of Pentacles 
with regard to Sagittarius Queen of Wands energy matching that King of Wands vibe this is beautiful manifesting energy there's the Leo there's the Piscean energy six of cups page of cups oh king and queen of swords king queen of wands king queen of swords oh damn and there's the capricorn vibe <laughs> so you're coming across uh kind of doing your own thing i don't think the manipulation energy uh works anymore with regard to you so this is definitely an interesting sort of switch up in energy with you uh, Sagittarius. Capricorn, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is definitely sending you peace, love, and light. I feel like that's a Scorpio vibe. That feels like Scorpio energy. So, damn. Not lack of opportunities is kind of quality of. Stay prayed up, stay focused up, whatever your sort of inspiration is right now. This is a good work, love, life energy. Ace of Cups there at the Six of Pentacles there at the Ten of Cups. The right relationship or partnership shows up at just the right time. But you got to make sure that you're far more focused on yourself. Beautiful blessings energy here with that Ten of Cups. This does not need to be romantic. For some of you, this could be a good working relationship or partnership. I don't know what your interest is right here now. Uh, Sagittarius. Some of you, I don't feel like it's that relationship or partnership. I feel like uh, you've met this sort of new opportunity with you. Because you have to be in that Five of Swords energy. So if you're dating, you're dating. You're just casually dating. You're not really being overwhelmed with anything. That's what makes the difference with you. Some of you, that sort of stagnation is what was needed. So, damn, look at you go. Look at you go here, Sagittarius. You've had to be very mindful, very flexible, and very... Um, what's the energy on this? Uh, what do you want to call this? Almost an anything goes type vibe with you. In the sense that you're far more focused on you. So you could be taking on some more responsibilities. You could be focusing on more things. Uh, not being or feeling overwhelmed. This is a good yin-yang energy with you as well. A good mix of the masculine and feminine. So, damn. It's good work energy. Good life energy. For some y'all, it's going to end up being a good relationship or partnership, whatever kind of ship that is. But it's going to be far more of a sort of equal vibe than anything else with you. Damn, pick what's yours and leave what's not. Unconventional blessings for you. Uh... Do watch your favorite astrologer. This could be astrological with you. If that's something you pay attention to. If you're praying Sagittarius, stay prayed up. Stay focused on what is important to you. Trust your intuition. Because I definitely feel like your intuition is on point. That's the sort of energy you need to be encompassed in. That Eight of Cups there with that Two of Swords. Happily indifferent. That feels like a happily indifferent energy with you. Definitely good dating opportunities, good work opportunities. You are going to find the right relationship or partnership, but there's going to be a lot of sort of 
false starts as well. So you're able to date, casually date, just kind of do your thing. A lot of opportunities, so some of you are going to have a lot of choices to make as well. Damn, work, love, life vibes. Very prosperous energy for you. Unconventional, though. Unconventional. It's definitely the rainbow after the rain. Although I don't feel like you're stuck in the rain. But you see the rainbow after the rain. Damn, look at you go Sagittarius. There is that energy of stagnation, but that stagnation is there for a reason. It allows new growth, new opportunities. A happy, healthy optimism as well. So, damn. This ain't like fairy tale energy either. So, you're not like Little Red Riding Hood. So, you're far more focused on what's uh, important. Uh, work, love, life vibes as well on this with you. Sagittarius. Damn, I love that. Take what's yours and leave what's not. That's good dating energy. So some of you, a lot of first dates. A lot of first dates. Romantic, this again could be work energy with you. So take what yours and leave what's not Sagittarius. It's definitely beneficial to you. Good yin yang vibes. So good luck, God bless, take what yours and leave what's not. Peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe, Sagittarius.